guys, so today I have swatches of six new polishes from Picture Polish. I will link the Picture Polish website down below because these are available right now. And Picture Polish is available in Australia through their main website. Then they have a bunch of stockists as well. So make sure to check out their stockist page so you can see how to get it to you in your country. So six polishes here all together and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Fresh and this is a really bright yellowy green with those little holographic flakes. So this one is a bit sheer on that first coat, but actually covers better than I would expect from a color like this, especially one that has any kind of holographic added to it. It is a bit streaky as well on that first coat. Great formula on this one though, not too thick or too thin. So this is starting to build up in two coats, but being such a light color, it is going to need three to cover up a few minor streaks that I still have. Though I do think they're going to dry a little bit more obvious than they are when it's wet. And this polish does dry just a little bit dull. So this one it does cover completely in three coats. And I feel like that third coat adds just enough opacity for it to be considerably more bright between two and three. And because those are little tiny flakes that are in there, it's not going to dry textured at all like a glitter would, and it's not going to be difficult to remove. So that is three coats of Fresh. The next polish is called Princess, and this is a very light, it's not quite baby pink, it's a little bit more saturated than what I would think of a baby pink as, but it's very close, with those little holographic flakes. So this one is also a bit sheer on that first coat, but it does seem like it's a bit more even than the last one was. I don't have a ton of streaks, but I can still see a good amount of my nail line, and a good formula on this one as well. So this one is starting to build up on that second coat, Actually, oh boy. I always say that I can never apply polish the same way, the same polish the same way twice. I just did the swatches for these this morning, and now I'm doing the video, and I did three coats for my swatch picture, but now it's covering in two. I just ran into that one assuming I would need three, and it's really not looking like that. So I would say two to three coats depending on your application for this one. This is two coats of Princess. The next polish is called Destiny, and this is a really pretty, almost dusty light blue. This has a pretty decent linear holographic to it, as well as bigger holographic flakes that give a more scattered look. So this one is also a bit sheer on that first coat, and also covers it fairly evenly, and good formula on this one. So this one does cover completely for me on two coats. But like the last one, I think it will be two or three coats just depending on your application. I can definitely see where this could still be too sheer for some people after two coats. And there's nothing in here that dries incredibly rough, but it does dry a little bit dull, so you will want top coat. So that is two coats of Destiny. The next polish is called Eternal, and this is kind of like a tangerine orange color with those little holographic flakes. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat, but overall actually covers pretty well. There are a few streaks in there also, but it looks like they're leveling themselves out pretty decently. And good formula on this one as well. I do feel like I'm getting a little bit too much polish on the brush with this one. Like maybe it's just a little bit thicker and there's more hanging onto the brush. So this one it does cover completely in two coats. And this definitely dries quite a bit darker than it applies. And again, with those little tiny flakies, they don't dry textured at all, and they're not difficult to remove. So that is two coats of Eternal. The next polish is called Fancy, and this is a brighter, kind of medium pink with that scattered silver holographic throughout it. So this one, I can also see my nail line through on that first coat, but it does cover very evenly. And again, good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely on two coats. And the color does get a little bit deeper with that second coat, not too much. This is another one where I feel like if you have a very, very white nail line, you might end up needing three coats. You might be able to see through the two coats. So that is two coats of Fancy. And the last polish is called Royal, and this is a royal purple with scattered silver holographic. And it looks like it has a little bit of like a linear, um, more fine holographic running throughout it as well. So this one is also a bit sheer on that first coat. There are a ton of different sizes of holographic running throughout this though, and look at that. I didn't get all the pink off. Good formula on this one as well. I feel like this one is a little bit thinner than the other ones. Not thin in a bad way, just thinner. So this one does cover completely in two coats. You can see that second coat deepens the color quite a bit. 
And this one does dry pretty dull, so you will want top coat. So that is two coats of Royal. No surprise here, but Destiny is going to be my favorite of the bunch because it's blue and it's holographic and it's really, really pretty. I also really liked Fresh because I feel like this isn't a color that you see from picture polish often or this bright of a color, but Destiny still kind of edges it out for my favorite. So those are the new colors from Picture Polish. Again, I will link that website down below where you guys can check those out. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.